It does seem as if someone has a goal of writing a book and they have a super general idea, like a boy goes on an adventure with his dog, then mm -hmm. a way to approach it, if you're a student of story, might be to find the hero's journey or whatever. I think Star Wars is the hero's journey, at least the first one or the fourth one or however. <laughs> Until I'm dating myself because I still think that one is the first one. And it would say all those standard things like um, there's the person who doesn't feel like they're engaged in the conflict of the story. There's the call to action. There's the refusal of the call, all those things. And then you could say, oh, okay, this is sounding like something that I'm interested in. I, as an author, find this very general hero's journey concept compelling. So I'm going to use that as my super, super sketchy premise statement. And then, you know what I'd really like? I'd really like to write about the hero being the naive farm boy. Okay, so now it's the naive farm boy that's called to action and refuses the call and blah, 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 down the hero's journey path. And then as you say, oh, a farm boy, is this going to be in Kansas during the Depression? Oh, you know what would be super cool is let's have it be sci-fi. I don't know how many authors go about a story like that, but it's kind of interesting to reverse engineer it to see maybe this is more something that's going on in people's minds. They're really thinking through the premise, but they're not being explicit about it. And so it's harder for them to get their hands around. Is that kind of reverse engineering something that you've worked with either in your own works or with your students? Yeah. So there's a lot of different ways I could go to unpack everything you just said. So I definitely do believe in reverse engineering because what I teach is you kind of need to know where you're going. I'm a big proponent of that. And of course people get there different ways. I'm not saying you can't pants it to get there, but in order to really effectively tell your story, I think you really need to have the end in mind. So however you get there, however long it takes you, once you have the end, I feel like you're in a much better position to tell your story with authority because you know where it's going. So yeah, that's definitely true. But a lot of times, if we want to write a story that makes sense and is very cohesive, we almost need to start at the end and then reverse engineer because everything needs to be almost the opposite at the beginning. Whatever the character learns at the end, they're ignorant of that at the beginning. Wherever they grow to at the end, they're the opposite at the beginning. So if they're at a place of strength at the end, then they should be at a place of weakness at the beginning.